guys, it's Candy. Happy Tuesday afternoon. I hope you guys are all having a great and wonderful, beautiful afternoon. It's a gorgeous day here in South Florida. The sun is shining, the pool is glistening, which is where I plan on going after I film this video. So let's get to it and make this short and sweet. Today I'm going to give you guys my absolute, 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 absolute must-haves and favorites. Like, I cannot live without these things. Like, if I were to be put on an island, I, I couldn't just have one or two. Like, I have to have these things. They are essential for my daily life. Most, yeah, we'll say daily life. All right? Okay. So, I'll do the makeup first because, well, that's one of my favorite things. So, let's get rolling. If you have been living under a rock, you have probably not heard about Urban Decay's Vice 2 palette. First of all, it looks great. Look at this. Look. Look at this little It's just so beautiful. Okay, it's so beautiful, but it is absolutely amazing. It is by far my favorite palette. Like, I mean, I use it with like a naked palette as well, but I could probably live off just this palette. I am so in love with it. I know it came out forever ago, but this is one of my daily go-tos. If I wear makeup, I will always put on something from this palette. Always. I might combine it with the Electric palette or another palette from a different collection, but I will always, 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 always use something from this palette. I don't know if you guys have seen it. I'm new to this, so please bear with me. With the mirror thing. I know everybody covers the mirrors or whatever. Okay. Do you see this? Right? Like, I mean, what? Okay, there's not a hot pink in it. There's not a hot pink in it, but I use Urban Decay, um, I don't know which one, but like a, like a pot I use for that, for the hot pink. It's my, one of my favorites. Um, but the Vice 2 palette I am totally in love with. And speaking of that, New York Fashion Week this week, they did announce that there is a Vice 3 palette coming soon. So I'm so excited to see what that brings. I think it's going to be a lot more electric. It's kind of like that neon palette they had earlier in the summer. I think it's going to be kind of electric like that, according to like the hints that they're throwing out with the models at Fashion Week. This is my daily foundation. Um, it's L'Oreal True Match. It is absolutely incredible, incredible, incredible. I mean, for an everyday, um, just all around foundation, inexpensive, I don't know, 11 or $12. And this is in, it's True Match Lumi. W3 Nude Beige. And that is actually what I'm wearing today. Of course, with some bronzer and some powder. But this is an awesome, awesome, awesome find. I think uh, Nicole from Young, Wild, and Polish was the first one that I heard about this. And I, I'm telling you, it is absolutely incredible, guys. Go check this out. It is worth $11 or $12 just to check out. Um, I cannot, cannot, cannot live without my benefit. Whoops. My Benefit, their Real Mascara. I have so many mascaras. I have been through so many mascaras. Hi, Charlie. Sorry, he's crazy. Okay, sorry. I'm sorry about that. I'm sorry. I'm so embarrassed. Um, I am like a mascara junkie. I have every mascara that anybody has ever recommended. I have bought. I have tried. I am like a junkie when it comes to mascara. Um, for years and years, I used Hot and Naughty by MAC, and I loved it. I swore by it. And then this one came out, and I, there is, there is no other. There is no other mascara. This is the bomb shit diggity dot com best shit ever mascara. Ever, ever, ever. Best mascara ever. Try it out. The last in my makeup, I believe... Except for the remover. There is a makeup remover, which, oh my gosh, guys. The last on the makeup list is by Too Faced. It is a lip injection lip tint. It is called Plump It Up Pink. Um, it makes your lips tingle. It tastes good, actually. It makes your lips tingle. Um, it gives them a little bit more plump to it. On top of it, I have some basic clear lip glass by MAC. But this shit is awesome. Go get you one. I think it's like 25 ish dollars, but it's worth every penny. I'm going to actually go get it in so many different colors. To remove my makeup, I have found 
Bioderma. There's Creoline. You see this Creoline? There's also a Sensibo, which is kind of, it's the, okay, I don't really know. I have read it's the same. I have read one comes from France, one comes from somewhere else. I just know that I have to order this online. I cannot get it anywhere in the stores. It's not carried in the United States except for like a distributing company. So I have to get this baby online and I'm going to tell you, I have never found anything so amazing to take my makeup off. And especially when I wear like heavy makeup, I just put a little bit of this on a uh, pad and wipe it right off. And it's literally like water. There's no grease. It doesn't burn. You don't have to grind your grind the thing into your eye. Like it literally like a couple little wipes, you know, depends on how heavy your makeup is. And it is incredible like I said the only negative is that I do have to order it online so if I'm in a pinch it kind of uh, I've been in a bind before and had to go out and get something else and hated it but I gotta tell you guys there's a new thing called makeup eraser I have not tried it yet I am totally going to buy it I just really haven't had time yet I was doing a baby shower but I am totally going to go out and buy it. it's called makeup eraser and the videos look phenomenal like from the testimonials so I'm going to try it. it's 20 bucks I'll try it and then I'll let you know when I get it and how wonderful I hope it is but in the meantime I'll keep using my bioderma especially for when I wear heavy makeup on my eyes or or I do a lot of contouring or anything like that, I would, I definitely use this to get it off. It's just like water. It doesn't bother my skin. I have very sensitive skin. I have very, very sensitive skin. And, um, no problem at all with that. Um, speaking of Bioderma, I guess, uh, I cannot live without my Bioderma lotion, moisturizer. I use this before I put my makeup on. I use this when I get out of the shower. I use this Bioderma moisturizer like, uh, I don't even want to go into it like how I use it. No, I'm just totally, totally just joking. But no, really. I use this like it's going out of the style. Same thing. The only negative is I have to order it on the internet, which I don't mind ordering things on the internet, but I'm kind of one of those people that if it's something I use all the time, I wait until like I'm almost out. And then these things take a while to get. Like it's not like you get it in like two or three days. I mean, it's like uh, where I order, I order from, I think... I don't even know where I order from, somewhere overseas. And it takes like 24 days or something to get it. So just make sure you don't run out because that's always a pain in the ass. And the Bioderma I picked up from Gigi Gorgeous. Speaking of Gigi Gorgeous, Gigi Gorgeous got me hooked on Batiste Dry Shampoo. Now I have very, very thin hair. Like, I don't know if you can see. Yeah, anyhow. I have very thin hair. Like, it's not really that thick on top. Um... And this is, this is incredible to help thicken it up. And not only to help thicken it up, but like some days, um, like in between, sh like in between washing my hair days, my hair will get like gross or whatever. So like if you just use this dry shampoo, this Batiste is the one I found to be the, the absolute best. And it's really inexpensive. Like, I don't know, girl, like what, $6, $8, something like that at the drugstore or Ulta's where I pick it up. Um, it really gives your hair life so you don't have to like wash it and strip out the oils because we really shouldn't be washing our hair every single day and I kind of have to because my hair's so thin and then it like looks really shitty so this has helped me revive my hair so much just from not having to wash it every single day so thank you Gigi Gorgeous for all of your tips because there's been quite a few that I like live by now thank you so much hair build up by the way this topics my hairdresser recommended it um it's like little fibers that you use to build up to build up so that you can't see like i guess the thinness of your hair to help build some volume incredible these are a little pricey they're about 25 or 27 dollars for this bottle and as you can see it's not like a super it's not like a super big bottle but um it's absolutely great for that i mean i've had this bottle probably since february and it's at least still half full and i use it anytime that i go out or take pictures or go to a photo shoot or anything like that i um I so the next it. thing totally isn't even makeup related or anything like that but you guys know i live in south florida and mosquitoes love all this girl like they love this i don't know what it is i must be really really sweet everybody thinks i'm like a cold-hearted bitch but Mosquitoes must think I'm just the sweetest thing alive or I have sugar for blood, baby, because they love this. Love it. But I fight back now with this shit. Coleman 100 Max Insect Repellent. It is 98.11% DEET. And if you guys know, DEET is what keeps the mosquitoes away. Now, I do know before everybody gets on here and tells me how unhealthy it is, I get that, but... 
I don't know, man. I would probably rather rub this on my body than have a mosquito infected with some weird-ass malaria or some other third-world country disease. And I catch it because I do not like to be sick. And I just, nah, I would rather put this on. So this has kept them at bay. I also have some incense sticks that I put outside. These really big ones my fiancé gets. Um... And um, they work pretty good, too. But this, to keep them off of you, when I went to Tennessee, they stayed away from me. They, I've not really had many problems since I came back, unless I didn't put it on, obviously. But uh, since I bought it, I've not had any problems at all. And speaking of this, by the way, Bath & Body Works is about to have a sale. They did just have a sale on this again, but, like, it's about time for them to have it again. I wait till they go for $3, or I think it's 5 for 15 They were 5 for 18 last week, but these from Bath and Body Works, guys, I know it's ridiculous to spend, what does it say, six fifty on a soap. Now, we all know if you go to Bath and Body Works and you buy in bulk, like four or more, whatever their deal is, you get them at a great price. Like, I got these I for $3 for my each. bathrooms and then two for my kitchen. And, um, of course, I'll go buy more whenever the season's over. But these just, and they're the foaming ones. So, it's like a gentle foaming hand soap is what it says. I'm telling you, it is, it's so soft and it's so, just glides, it's just so good that this is like one of my new addictions. Um, this is thanks to Trisha Paytas, by the way. Trisha Paytas got me hooked on this. Like, I know I go to Bath and Body, Bath and Body Works for like the wallflowers and some of the smoga stuff, but I never really got into the, the hand soap because I was like, yeah, whatever. But I'm telling you, I am like addicted. Trisha Paytas, like, um let everybody know when they were on sale or whatever and I went and just said fuck it and tried it and I am addicted um, addicted addicted and then we have this which is called it's a 10 miracle leave-in treatment plus keratin and I the, the first time I ever used this I went to Ulta and I had bought a few things yeah okay a few things but you you know I bought some stuff and uh, they gave me a little sample of this to use and girl I was addicted like like instantly my hair tangles really really my hair tangles really really bad outside the shower when I get out of the shower and you just spray a little bit of this stuff on like just a little bit and like wait a couple minutes and you can just glide the brush through your hair without pulling any hair or damaging any of your hair and it's just incredible this bottle is a 10 ounce bottle and it's about forty dollars pretty much wherever you go you can get it at ulta and use your reward points there or you can if you have a red card at target you can save five percent by using your red card at target or if you order it, the last time I did it, I ordered it through Ebates because Ebates had 15% cash back through Target. And I did a pickup in store at Target with my red card. So I saved 20% by doing it that way. I know. I'm just a savvy shopper. Don't ask. If you ever have questions, private inbox me. I will not bore you guys with this stuff. But I am a savvy shopper. Finally, I used to never ever look at a price or never ever check, but like really you get so much more product if you just like use coupons or 20% off or di different things like that and you get so much more shit. So totally, 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 that is my new like, uh, that's my new thing. And last but not least, one of my absolute, absolute, pretty much now can't go without on a daily basis. Like, yeah, I change out with some some of my favorites are like, I have a couple of Ralph Lauren that are really like Coach, um, Chanel, uh, Juicy Couture, but this is my new obsession. Can you see this guys? I mean, it's a simple, it's a simple little black bottle. It's Gucci Guilty and my fiance picked this out for me. I went... I went perfume shopping and I took him with me so because he's really honest like it he is really really honest about shit so um we tried a bunch of different ones and he f actually fell in love with this one he did like he loved it loved it loved it so I bought it and obviously he can't get enough of it I can't get enough of it it's absolutely incredible go buy it I don't even remember how much it was this might have been I don't know $70 or something I don't remember so go check that out that's all I have for you today, guys. Uh, I do plan on having, like, my absolute, I can't believe I even bought this shit video coming up.
hopefully later in this week, if not next week. What's new? Hope to see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.